Alright, you ready? Alright guys, we have pretty much everything in this box to finish up the interior of the Calypso phone. Got Memphis out here with me today if you guys can't see. I don't know if they can see you down there, baby. Alright. But anyway, uh, I think this is, like I said before, probably about 80% of everything that we need for the Calypso phone. And uh, remember, we also have a bunch of boxes over here. But uh, there's still a few components missing, and they should be in hopefully this week. We'll see though. Right now, let's go ahead and open everything up. Yeah, Daddy. Yeah. yeah. All right, so what do we have here? Right off the bat. Oh. So. Right off the bat, we have new armrest pads. As you all know, these things wear out and they get really soft. So we have new armrest pads for the car. And of course, everything will be dyed to match. So no worries there if some of these colors don't match up. This is, I'm not sure. Okay, this is the inner belt moldings for the door panels. So I'll show you where everything goes here in just a few minutes uh, on the car, so that way you know where it all fits. Next up, we have the dash pad. So I wanted to go ahead and order a new dash pad for the car because that one's not too bad, but it is a little tweaked. So we want this thing to look as nice as possible, guys. We didn't go through all of this hard work with all this paint and body to leave the interior looking like crap. So. Here we go, dash pad. And sun visors. I thought I canceled that. Oh well. We have the black sun visors to match the uh yeah, to match the headliner. Anyway, I thought I canceled these because I was just gonna dye these. I guess I accidentally left them on the order, so there we go, sun visors, guys. Next up, probably my least favorite. Run channel moldings. I hate these things, guys. Uh, but we gotta do them, so it is what it is. We have run channel moldings. Yeah, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Next up are the seat belt holders. Oh man, these sleeves. These things are, man, these things are expensive. They're like 60 bucks for these sleeves. But as you all know, the Fox Body sleeves wear out over time and then everything just kind of falls and sags and hangs. But these are hard plastic. Let me, uh, let me open one of these up. I mean, they're cheaply made, but they're hard, hard plastic. So, I mean, that, that's gonna work right there, guys. But listen, they're not, uh, they're not very easy to bend, so that's a good thing. I actually really like these, but you can tell, I mean, they're just super cheap, but, well, they're at least not cheap to buy. Uh, let's see, okay, so next up is the bezel fix kit. So, uh, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but the bezel in the uh, Retro Fox was broken where it bolts to the dash. So, LMR sent me out one of these kits to try out, and I absolutely loved it. I loved it enough that I purchased this one for myself. So, uh, by the way, guys, none of this stuff is sponsored. Uh, I bought all of this. So, um, but yeah, I like this enough to go back and actually buy it. So these bezel kits work really good to fix your broken bezel. <coughs> and I'll go through everything and show you what it all does once we get done. All right, next up we have the door speaker grills. We really needed these because the ones in the car are drilled out and you know whatnot. So this comes with the proper kit to attach them to the back side of the door panel like they should be. So that's gonna look really nice. You guys can see this. This is the backing to your door panels. So this is what keeps your door panels straight and keeps them from all, you know, bowing out and stuff. So we are going to be replacing these, cleaning up the door panels, re-dyeing them, putting the inner belt moldings on them, putting speaker grills, armrest pads. I mean, we're gonna completely rebuild these door panels. Uh, here pretty soon. I'm not sure when we're going to do this, but we've got the stuff to do it with. I know we're going to do the carpet, 
and everything else first. All right, guys, this is it. This is what we have. So I'm very pleased with this order. Uh, these are the orders that nobody wants to make. Nobody wants to order stuff like this, you know, uh, because it gets relatively expensive and it's just not fun. It's, none of this is fun stuff. So let me get this over here before it gets bent up. But this is all stuff that had to be purchased. All right, so first off, let's look at the Calypso clone. Uh, well, before we do that, uh, here we go over here. So let's look, see what we have. We have the cup holder console there. We have, that's the torque converter. That's the 3500 stall for the car. These are the brackets from Aaron Altry right here that we looked at earlier for the rear seats. Uh, this is a sway bar. This is our hatch carpet or carpet. And then we have our hatch carpet back here. And we have our floor mats. Yeah, floor mats are right here. Uh, we also have uh, this intake that we have to put on that I've painted. Everything looks good there. And this pillar cover right here. Uh, I had to fix this also. As you can see up here, it was broken pretty bad. So I repaired it and uh, yeah, we're good to go. Nobody's ever gonna notice that. So I'm pleased with it. We have, I stole these out of the um, donor car back there. We're gonna dye these. Like I said, we're just trying to get everything together. We want this thing to be nice. So what do we have going on on the interior of the car? Well, these armrest pads are just, they're horrible. You know, when you go to grab it, they get all mushy and stuff. So that's why we're replacing those. This is your inner uh, belt molding right here. You can see how it's all broken. So we're gonna be pulling this off. It comes off with the trim, with the chrome trim ring. That all comes off. So we're gonna replace that. Uh, I actually forgot to order the door lock uh, little knobs up here. That's no problem. Of course, we have uh, new speaker grills. I forgot to order the bezels. So uh, I think I actually have two of those laying around. So I think we're okay there. What else, guys? Uh, this is for the... Which nothing's bolted down, don't get me wrong, but uh, it does have a little bit of movement to it like that once everything is finally bolted up. So uh, that's what that bezel rebuild kit is for. The dash pad, as you can see, it's got, it's kind of bowed up right here. Uh, overall though, it's in really good shape, but you can see it's starting to separate at the top. It's starting to pull away. So uh, we don't want that. And this is where the, uh, the new vents will go right here. These two need to be replaced. We're going to use this bottom console piece. It's perfectly fine. It just looks like hell. Guys, I'm telling you, we're gonna make, we're gonna transform this thing. It's gonna look good when we are done. So we, so we have sun visors now that uh, we can go ahead and replace, get those black ones in here to match this headliner, which I totally thought that I did not order. I don't know how that ended up staying on the order, but whatever, that's fine. Hey, I'm all for that, that's good. What else did we get? Oh yeah, and right here. Uh, see, there's actually, there's nothing wrong with the vinyl on these door panels and the carpet down at the bottom. All this stuff can be cleaned up and straightened out. The reason why these door panels bow out is because of this backing. Can you see that back there? It's all rotted and it's just, it's messed up, right? So that uh, backing is only like 30 bucks. Here is our run channel moldings. That's where all this is going to go. And as you can see, I mean, this stuff just, that's it. That's your run channel molding right here. We'll replace all that. New carpet, new floor mats, and the elephant in the room. We're not gonna talk about that yet. All right, you know what? This was the wrong order. Ah, crap. Now I know. This was the first order that got sent out. Uh, I accidentally placed two orders on uh, LMR's site. And the first order was supposed to go through PayPal because sometimes I just pay with PayPal. And uh, in checkout, it just started spinning, like the processing thing just started spinning and it never would go all the way through. Well, then I got an error message and I was like, well, crap, I really need to order this stuff today. So I was like, screw it. I'll just, you know, put it on my debit card. So before I did that, though, I went back, checked all my emails. I checked PayPal to make sure it didn't go through. I checked uh, LMR's order, like list, you know, when you order from LMR, you can go back and look at your orders. Nothing was showing up. So I said, okay, I'm good. 
no charges were made. So I went and placed the second order on my card. That was an $1,100 mistake. They both come out about the exact same time. So during the process of getting the second order together, uh, the other one come out. So, and I didn't know it. But anyway, the point of me telling you that is in the first order, I had some visors. So I had these on the first order. And then the second order, I was like, you know what? I'll leave those off because they're about 90 bucks. I'll leave those off and uh, I'll add a couple other little things in. When I called LMR and told them about what happened, they just canceled one of the orders. So they canceled the second order. They didn't cancel the first order. So that's how I ended up with what I got. Anyway, long story short, I messed up. Either way, guys, this is it. We are going to be starting on the People's Fox here very, very soon. I do want to tell you guys that the interior uh, is not going to be a cut and dry thing. It's not going to be like a one day thing where we come out here and we knock this out. There's some surface rust uh, starting on the bottom side of the floor pans and I'm sure there's going to be some rust um, on the inside of the car on top of the floor pans. So we're going to have to address that. We're going to have to you know, scuff this stuff up, try to sand most of the rust out of it and uh, apply some chassis saver. We'll get all that taken care of. With that being said though, just understand that this is going to be a process. I could normally knock something like this out in a day, two days, but uh, this is probably going to take us about a week or so to do. So we'll get a lot of content along the way. We've got to spray. Every part in this car is going to get resprayed. The dash, all the panels, what here? It's going to take us a little while, but we are going to get it done. Anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, and as always, thanks for watching. You don't tell me anything?